previously on A Million Dollars and a Dream. Listen, man, anytime you want to go, I'm ready. Ready is one thing you ain't. Until you beat Tommy, Leon, and Letitia, just get out my face. You cramping my style. Your personality is cramping your style, dude. Play a hater. Dream chaser, keep chasing. Grind will turn into your shine, be patient. Yeah, hundred miles of running, trying to catch up to my dreams. So you know for it's coming, I'm a dream chaser, 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 dream chaser. You know what I mean? I never go to sleep, cause I'm always up chasing my dream. This for the youngin' that ain't got no way out, you did? Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Hot Pot King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. What's going on with y'all? You already know what it is. It's finally time for me to take out Book. Finally, after a long-awaited three races against a bunch of scrap-ass bums, I'm finally getting my race against Book. Now, I've been waiting for this. I know y'all been waiting for this. And I just want to get straight into the video, but check out what I'm doing here, man. I'm so hype, I just want to ride the sidewalk, man. Because you already know that the crazy animation, how people are actually faster than vehicles, they really jump out the way way more faster than everybody else. But um, let's get into this cutscene real quick. It'll tell you all about how everything went down before the race. It is what it is. Let's go, y'all. Look at me failing to crash. Here he is, the challenger. And here he is, the challenged. Still a comedian. So driving, that's the real joke. You know, remind me why we didn't end up hanging out more. Probably for the same reason none of these girls want to talk to you. Hey man, I don't really want to talk to you. Trust me, the feeling is mutual. So can we just race and then get on with our lives? Yeah, and I'm gonna send you back under whatever rock you came from. Yeah, right. You sure you know how to handle that thing? Quite sure, little boy. Quite sure. I hope you like silver medals. Big Benz against iPod King Carter motorcycle. Check out the takeoff. First of all, the takeoff was crazy by itself. Now check out this fail. I didn't even see that. Um, I haven't driven downtown that much and he got the upper hand um, the thing about it was I was th I was just thinking about going fast going straight and I forgot that when you had to go against book it was a lot of loopholes it was a lot of different parts of the map that you had to go to that you really you know wouldn't drive on a norm so I, I really started it off bad I couldn't catch him on the highway that's why I was kind of happy when I got on the highway but check out this automatically after we get on the highway we get right off back into the streets <laughs> so i was pissed i was like ah oh, fuck i was like all right well let me just hurry up and try to catch this dude on the street away and the bins on on the other hand look at this i thought that was him by mistake that's what happens <laughs> but yeah man um this was another fell uh round the race started off great for me until i hit that uh that median and then after that it just i just couldn't catch the guy I'm not even gonna lie to you, I couldn't catch him. And I'm glad that it was only one round instead of two. Now look at how he's going through all the little um how can you say secret passageways on the maps and I'm just going through the street trying to catch up. But I kinda do catch him um right about here. Now as I pass him, I'm like, ah oh, man, I should have hit him with the aggro. That's where I messed up at. If I would have hit him with the aggro, everything would have been fine. Now, as I'm taking off, we're back on the highway. So I'm like, all right, great. Boy can't stop me. I'm taking I'm taking a hell of a nice lead right now. And dude can't do it. Now, I know y'all like the way I use that aggro right there. I use that aggro like a mug, man. 
But check it out. Uh, it's very scary. Check it out. You see that red dot, right? Look at that fell. I seen the red dot in my sights. I wasn't looking at the cars. And now he's trying to catch up. Now I remember going down a part of this map before and I was like, all right, that median is not right there anymore. And I was trying to figure out, I'm like, all right, well, which way do I get to the red? And I'm like, all right, bet, bet I'm golden. So all I did was just bang the right and take the W. First race in the book. Get it in the book. Yo, I promise you, dude talk way too much trash, man. What's up with dude, man? Him in these plaid shirts and shorts. What's up with dude, man? Like, he ain't no real thug, man. He don't get no, he don't get no chicks. <laughs> but, um, this is the second race into the series. Uh, it, I, I felt kind of good until I hit that car. Uh, it kind of pissed me off because, of course, you know, he sped right past me once again. And I don't like coming from behind in a race because I start making mistakes. I start making unpredictable decisions while on the road. Like sometimes I might not use my aggro. I might think, oh, I could slip in out of this situation with ease. Now, the thing about it is sometimes when you think you can slip and out, slip out, look at that. See how I use the aggro right there? I was like, you know what? I'm not going to take that total fail. Um, but I took a total fail anyway. I hit, I must've hit a hump and then I just got taken out. So now I got to start some more from the back. It's killing me, man. It's killing me. All right, now as I drive past Best Buy, it's only one thing that I had in mind. Darn, I can give me another HD PVR real fast, <laughs> but I decided not to stop. <laughs> Yo, I just keep on crashing, man. A lot of people in this video are gonna say, "Hey, man, you don't know how to drive a motorcycle. You need to learn how to slow down." I know man, all I all I had on my mind was the W. I really didn't think too much of it because dude is driving in the Mercedes Benz. I can wax that with no problem. Now after I used my aggro, I decided, you know what, let me let me build up some more. So now I gotta actually start driving. I don't have any more aggro right now, so I gotta really slip in and out. Now I'm doing pretty good, you know, I'm catching up, but I still don't know the downtown streets that much. So what I'm doing is I'm just, you know, staying away from as many cars as I can. Now, right here, check out what happened. I, I totally fell. I don't know where I was going, so I had to backtrack myself. Now, I know y'all see the red dot where he is, so you already know that I lost this race. But I gave it my best. You know, I tried the map. Obviously, you know, it wasn't that long, so he got me. So um, it's one and one right now. You know, we're going into the last race. You know, um, I never cut up any losses. So you already know what it is, man. I took the L like a man. Okay, see you at the start. You better be there. I'll make a deal with you. If you win, you can come out on the town with me and my crew. Grass shot in a pedicure? No thanks. I know how you and your Beverly Hills kids roll. This dude can never learn when to stop talking shit. I'm telling you, every single time we start racing, he has something to say out of his mouth. So you know what I did? I took a commanding lead. Now, um, I do want to, you know, throw out a little topic out there. Um, you already knew it was coming. Um, I knew y'all didn't think I was just gonna commentate on a racing game the entire time. No, not at all. Um, <laughs> I actually want to know. What would you guys do if you had a million dollars? Um, I'm not sure if anybody's ever done this. Um, I just want to throw this question out there. If you had one million dollars, not cash, not credit, not a loan, not a, a lottery ticket, not a played number. But if you generally had one million dollars and one million dollars only, not one, one million dollars and one hundred dollars, just one million dollars. What would you do with that million dollars? Would you invest? 
would you blow that would you <laughs> would you get white boy wasted would you go out and trick like drake like what would you do with a million dollars seriously like would you uh get a fancy car fancy home or would you just you know take all your fellas and chicks out you know what i'm saying to have a good time on you for until it's all gone you know i just want to you know see where you guys mindset is on this um if i had a million dollars i wonder what i would do um a lot of people say oh man if i had a million dollars i would do this 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 and the third to tell you the truth until you get that million dollars in your hand you don't know what the hell you're gonna do because you don't know what type of situation you would be in at the time of getting that million dollars now me personally if i got a million dollars right now i would probably get a five bedroom two and a half bath house i would probably get a range rover and probably a, a two-seater um the thing about it is if i got a two-seater this the car would have to be long because i'm i'm kind of tall my legs are long so um i would definitely need a a, a long a long coupe um also i will most likely you know pay off my uh, son's college tuition already like already have that in the bank maybe in the cd so it can actually add some interest and i don't think i would invest in anything the one thing that i do think i would do to become better at youtube i would probably get the best of the best that means best quality uh computers with crazy ram all of that you know what I'm saying, but uh, that's that's my take on getting a meal, and of course, you already know I would save up some. But uh, this is IKC signing out. All right, y'all. Oh, also, don't click off this video, you might want to view all of this. Peace. You're gonna need to win more than a couple of races to get respect around here. So, who's the rookie now? Sure, I guess congratulations are in order, but that's not why I'm calling. I've got a business proposition that you and your ego might be interested in. I'm looking for a partner. A partner? I thought you hated me. Anyway, I'm kind of setting my sights higher than a chop shop business. I don't want you to work there, man. I couldn't think of anything worse. No, you've made a name for yourself. People know you in L.A., and I want those people's business. Your reputation is the best kind of advertising I can get right now. I want you to spread the word, and in exchange, you get the choice of vehicles and parts. Whatever you want, whenever you want. So I carry on racing, drop your name around town a few times, and get any car I want? There's got to be a catch. You're not going to make me wear a billboard, are you? No, it's that simple. All you need is a million bucks.